ladies and gentlemen so this is an fl studio 20 melody tutorial and we're back again it's polar with one channel no one cares okay so the first thing we're going to do is to get our initial sound we're going to go to add here and then we're going to shuffle through here there's a lot of different things that you could go with but we're going to try gms today so gms we're in gms and we're going to click this right here. There's a lot of different ways we could go. You could start a melody with a pad slash texture or a lead synth. We'll do lead synth. And we're going to choose one of the keys because usually these give you a good sound. I'm going to put my headphones on. Okay. Um, we want to bring this up to about 140 BPM. It's probably easiest to record melodies in 140. Uh, it's actually easier to record the faster it is, believe it or not, because you'd think it would be easier to record at a slower BPM for melodies, but it's actually easier to record it faster. And it's kind of hard for me to explain right now, but uh, we'll just, just believe me. We're going to do half beat here, and this is so like it just automatically basically records at the half beat. You'll see what I'm talking about. Left click here, make sure the playlist is laid down, and start from here. And I would just, before you even really have a pattern in your head, just... Keep in mind, FL will record like for hours. So like, you can just start, put turn the metronome on. You can just start and then just see what you can do. And I'm just kind of like. Okay, so let's see what we got there. Uh, pretty cool. How is it recording so far on that one half? It looks like it's right actually. See how I'm still like, I have it in record. I haven't even stopped it yet. That's how it looks on one half. See how it's like already automatically lined up for us for the most part. There is a part that I missed actually, which was doing this in harmonic minor, but uh, we'll, we'll do that in another video. That's that's more advanced melody making, which I'll, I'll do later. So this is how it sounds so far. I'm just playing chords like on my computer keyboard. And then you just edit. And this is what FL is all about, really editing notes, ain't it? Because if you could just play this stuff that good, like, would you really need FL Studio? You know what I'm saying? It's probably taking me some time to get right the first time. You can leave those little errors. Debating whether I should even add this last note. Let's see what it sounds like without it. Uh, I don't even know if I should add that or not. It sounds kind of corny with it, but whatever. Uh, you see how I just did that? And also, you want it to be like an 8 9 bar. 8 bar here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You want that variation for your melody. It just makes the beat better. Um, and I I've gotten so good, I just kind of like know. To play it like that every time you could do eight or 16 but i would hardly ever 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 do four so here's a melody right here we can route it just by hit, clicking Control l so Control l and it's already right here in the mixer all right you want to turn the melody down too when you're when you're making a beat typically you don't want the melody to be like the loudest thing and uh you could throw some effects on there there's a couple you can do here i, I have friends that like to do the delay Yeah, something you could do. Um, the convolver is also clutch. So that's two melody secrets right there. Like just in the effects. What is this even about? Oh yeah, this is an FL Studio 20 melody tutorial, 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 melody, melody, melody. melody. Nobody cares. All right, so uh, eh, love filter is also like a classic starter melody sound. I'll typically gross beats is I feel like it's more for drums in my opinion, or if you're just like getting a sample. Here's the filter. What I like to do with the filter is if I ever add the filter because the filter usually doesn't make any sound sound better ever. I typically just have it phase in like this. 
and then like that'll be like my intro melody right there but uh this is fl studio 20 melody tutorial and i made it look really easy but i mean if you follow these steps like the quick steps having making sure this is a half beat putting it at 140 to record a little bit easier and again you can break this down to 120 or sorry 70 and it'll be half time of that and half time is typically better probably for recording drums ironically but for the melody like you want it to be in um a fast pace so you can just record it more accurately and i recorded accurately the first time and these are just chords like three note chords so that's it for this video guys hope you guys learned something if not uh I hate you. Peace out.